So I just checked the email, and there's a bunch of angry emails. It's obviously uh, organized campaign. What do you mean? Ferguson, Missouri incident was a hoax. That's exactly what I mean. Hands up, don't shoot, didn't happen. And you know the really dangerous thing about this is how many people do you think still, particularly young African Americans, but liberals in general on social media, how many of them do you think it actually did happen? How many how many people in this country, particularly young, impressionable youths, really still believe that the gentle giant was just that, gentle giant? They don't know that he held up a convenience store and roughed up the owner. They don't know that he was walking down the middle of the street. No. They've been told that he was happily walking down the sidewalk, eagerly anticipating his first days at college. Yes, because that's what he was going to do. And then a murderous, racist white cop drove up and without provocation shot him in the back while the gentle giant was running away with his hands up saying, I surrender, I surrender. And they believe this happened. So we have the grand jury hearing. Witness after witness after witness after witness after witness after witness after witness. After witness. Nobody told the story the way the leftists wanted it told. In fact, what happened was the gentle giant attacked the cop, tried to get his gun, attacked him inside the cop car. We've had another life ruined here. The cop's life has been ruined. Uh, and this is what the left does. It's either Republican candidates, Republican presidential candidates, or whoever. They, they'll destroy anybody in their way. The gentle giant wasn't gentle. He was not murdered. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a sad incident, but if the kid had just been told no in his life a couple of times, maybe he wouldn't have had the attitude that he had that caused all this to happen. My point is, that's the hoax. Hands up, don't shoot is the hoax. Hands up, don't poop is the hoax with the feces swastika. Students said... Uh, Young, impressionable children that attend University of Missouri can't handle the N-word being shouted, but there's no evidence it was. There's no videotape. There are no pictures of the poop swastika and there are no pictures of cars driving around with the Confederate flag. And there's no KKK chapter. And you know what else has come out? Football team was not united on this boycott business. The football team was nowhere near united on boycotting the rest of the season or practice. We were, we were lied to. We were set up. This planned and executed long ago. And you'd have to say it was a brilliantly planned and especially well executed hoax. All because nobody is willing to stand up to any of these people. And at this point, you're not going to hear very many people, and certainly nobody in officialdom at the university, even using the word hoax. They can't admit to being hoaxed for two reasons. How embarrassing. But secondly, a university president and chancellor were essentially fired, forced to resign or else. 